everyone, happy holidays. So today's video is gonna be a makeup haul. There's probably gonna be like a bunch of makeup hauls right now because there's so many sales. It's insane. It's like you're buying gifts for other people, but then you're like, let me buy this for myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do. Whenever I'm buying gifts for other people, I'm like, Ooh, I want that so then I just buy it for myself but anyways I wanted to do this video because I did purchase a bunch of makeup and I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and if you haven't been here before my name is Sylvia hello nice to meet you and thank you so much for being here so the first thing is from the Kylie Cosmetics holiday collection the red velvet lip kit the packaging just looks like I want to eat it <laughs> Really. So I bought the lip kit and then I bought the Nice palette. She released the Naughty and the Nice palette. And the one that really caught my eye was the Nice palette. It's this one right here. This is the box that it comes in. It's, it has glitter stripes. I love this packaging. Ugh, I love it. I actually just used this palette and the lip kit. I'm wearing it right now. I also used the palette on my eyes today and I recorded a tutorial and review first impressions of the palette and the red velvet liquid lipstick so that video is gonna be out on Thursday so make sure your notifications are on so whenever I upload that video you're notified I will also link it in this video if you end up watching this video on Thursday or after Thursday I will link it in the description box I have my Sephora bag right here so I did buy a bunch of stuff from Sephora because they did have their beauty insider event which was $25 off if you spent $50 or more so let me show you guys what I got from Sephora so the first thing in here is this is from the hair care line way by Jen Atkins this one comes with a treatment mask a smooth spray texturizing hairspray and dry shampoo I thought this was such a cute travel case and they had a really really good deal on this kit I think it was like $25 for all of these items. I really like her wave spray so I wanted to try her other products to see if I like them. So the next thing I got these Huda Beauty false eyelashes in the style Samantha. So these are the lashes that I got from Huda Beauty and her packaging is always really nice as well. She has really really nice eyelashes. I've only tried one of her other styles. I saw this style and they looked really really nice and wispy and and I really like wispy eyelashes so these really caught my eye so I went ahead and bought these okay the next item that I got is this Farsali Rose Gold Elixir, the 24 karat gold infused beauty oil. So this is like that oil that was like all over social media. I did do a review on the new Jelly Beam Highlighter by Farsali. So I will link it in the description box if you want to check that video out and put a card up here. But I really wanted to try their Rose Gold Elixir oil because I've heard really great things about this oil. I bought their travel size one because it's more affordable. So this is supposed to be a fast absorbing lightweight moisturizer infused with 24 karat gold. Even though I have oily skin, I do like to use moisturizer before applying my foundation and my makeup because I do have like dry patches like around my mouth and I really don't like my makeup to look dry and cakey. I found that if you really moisturize your skin well before applying foundation, unless you have a dewy foundation, then your makeup makeup is gonna look better but I am careful on which oils I use so I won't use just any oil so if I don't end up liking this and it makes my skin very oily then I'll probably just return it but I'm actually really excited to try this out because I really want to see how my makeup looks after putting this on so the next item I got is by the brand fresh and it's the sugar lip caramel hydrating balm so this is the full size one so I had the mini size of 
this lip balm and I really 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 liked it a lot I've been using it almost every day and I was almost gone from my sample one that I got in one of the play by Sephora boxes so I just decided to go ahead and buy the full size because I just liked it so much and I'm almost out of it anyway and since Sephora was having that sell I figured that I might as well get the full size and it really does smell like caramel so if you love caramel you would love this lip balm I and mean, it just makes your lips feel so hydrated so the next item i got is the kat von d everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade julia and this is a collaboration that she's doing with farm sanctuary and i really really wanted to support this cause so she came out with four different shades and each of the shades are named after a farm animal that was rescued from farm cruelty so the shade julia Julia is named after a pig that was abused and then she was rescued. So 20% of the retail price goes to the farm sanctuary to help them help animals against farm cruelty. So I thought that was a really great cause. And I was wearing this lipstick in my ColourPop All I See Is Magic tutorial. I do have several Instagram posts with this lipstick as well. So if you want to see it, just go to my Instagram, Sylvia and Beauty, and you'll be able to see it. And I really love Kat Von these liquid lipstick formula as well so yeah all right so i did order a couple of more things online from sephora one of them was this marc jacobs genius gel supercharged foundation so this one was already on sale so then i got you know money off from the 25 dollar uh, beauty insider event i got the shade beige light i just really wanted to try this foundation because it was on sale so i was like well i might as well try it out because i have never tried any of marc jacobs foundations this is supposed to be more of a sheer foundation i am planning to do a review video on this foundation and then i also got the origins original skin pore perfecting cooling primer with willow herb so this is a new primer by origins it's supposed to like minimize your pores. I actually had been using this several times already and I'm probably gonna do a review video on this primer as well so just keep a look out for that video too. There are gonna be a bunch of videos after this makeup haul reviewing a bunch of these products too so just make sure you're subscribed so that you guys know whenever those videos come out it's a really interesting primer i am gonna say that so far so the last thing i got from sephora is the metal crush extreme highlighter palette i saw this at sephora in person and i swatched it and then i just had to get it I didn't buy it at the store because I was like, oh, I don't need another highlighter palette. I don't need no more highlighters. But I just couldn't get over the swatches that I did from the store. So I went ahead and ordered it online. And I'm actually really glad that I ordered it because this palette is so freaking awesome just the packaging alone i mean it's so nice i love this packaging it's like holographic it does come with three highlighters and they're right there so this is the palette right here and the packaging is just so nice i love this packaging Kat Von D's packaging is always so nice and then it comes with a mirror and then here are the three different highlighting shade if you guys want a review video on this palette let me know in the comments section below i'm not sure if i should film a video using this palette or not because it is supposed to be limited edition i don't know how many they have left i am gonna say that it is a glittery highlighter so if you don't like glitter and you don't like glittery highlighters you're not gonna like it i normally don't go for glitter highlighters but this one just had really different texture from other glitter highlighters it's not chunky it does apply pretty smoothly onto this skin you know what i will post on my instagram swatches of that palette so if you want to check it out i will post it on my instagram for you guys to see it okay so moving on to beige cosmetics and bh cosmetic had really great sales during the holidays so i had to grab a, couple, a few things from them one of them was this blush palette it was insanely 
cheat and it comes with 10 blushes I really just wanted to try out more of their products so they do have like from darker to lighter blushes and you can't really tell on camera but they're more a pink tone blushes so I'm looking forward to trying those blushes out I did grab two of their black eyeliners because they were like two dollars each so i kind of just got one and then i got a backup so i'm gonna just try these out i've never tried their eyeliner either so i did purchase a couple of maybelline highlighters from amazon the master chrome highlighters i've actually already tried the rose gold one and it's really really nice i need to try out the molten gold one to see how i like this one but so far i really really like the rose gold one and i am gonna be doing a review on these highlighters so something I'm really excited that I bought is the Mac Patrick star powder that he released with Mac cosmetics so this is one it's called Patrick's powder so this is the packaging of the powder and it's again holographic it looks really really nice I love this packaging like any type of like shiny glitter or holographic type of packaging I love it and if you guys want a review on this powder so like a whole video dedicated for this powder and me using it let me know in the comments so this is the powder and it comes with a silver top I'm really really excited to try this powder out because the only powder that I really really love right now is the Laura Mercier powder I use that one all the time it's my go-to powder this is supposed to be really good powder for setting and baking I think it is still available on the MAC cosmetics website and if you go to the MAC store they do have it available already and I can't wait to try this powder out so the last package is from morphe they were also having a sale for the holidays and I went ahead and grabbed some items from there so the first one is the continuous setting mist by morphe I do have another one but I bought a backup because I feel like I'm gonna run out of my other setting mist because I like it so much so I just had to get another one during the sale and then I ended up getting the highlight and contour sponge I don't know I just got this sponge because I wanted to try it out to see if I like it or not so I'll let you guys know like on my snapchat or Instagram if I end up liking the sponge or not and then I ended up getting a brush from them this is the M501 so I'm probably gonna have to shape the brush again but basically I don't have a brush like this in my collection I don't have one that is pointy like this so I really wanted to try out this type of brush to see if it makes any type of difference when I'm applying my eyeshadow it looks like a nice brush so we'll see how it is so I did actually buy a couple more makeup items that I don't have with me because I ordered them online so I ordered from Colourpop Cosmetics I ordered one of their Supernova liquid eyeshadows that they have and then I ordered one of their concealers because I really want to try out their concealer which I feel like I I should have waited a little bit longer because right now they're having a 20% off sale. I kind of feel like going back on the website because they have 20% off and free shipping. If you've been wanting to get some ColourPop items, I would suggest to go during the sale. I might get a few more items. I don't know. <laughs> and then I did order the Kylie Cosmetics new skin concealer that she released in her silver series and i ordered one of her new lipsticks that she released in her silver series and i know those lipsticks sold out super fast like it was insane how fast those lipsticks sold out but i was able to get my hand on one of them even though it wasn't the shade that i wanted but i will be reviewing the skin concealer by kylie cosmetics and her new lipstick on my channel i probably left out one or two items because I can't even keep track of how much makeup during all of these cells I think I pretty much got everything and yeah let me know if you guys want to see a video on any of these items then I will make a video on them I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified each time that I upload a new video and I hope to see you guys in my next one bye